video it. We're going to video this? Wow. Modern Put it tech. On the web. Put it on the web. Put it on a little YouTube. Who knows where it's going to end up? Picking up my audio. Good? Yeah. Really? I what hope so. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> we are with Kyle Turley at Joe's on Weed Street. Monday Night Football. Not playing. Nope. Well, you are, yes, you, playing. you are playing, yes. but not football. Yes. I'm still playing, man. For, and for the uninitiated, you can tell them what away. you play. You can tell them what you're playing. I'm playing music now. That was, uh, that was always my, my second passion outside of surfing. My music's always been a great passion. And a, lo a little bit country. A little bit country, a little bit more rock and roll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just like Donnie and Marie. No, yeah. Just, well, I have a no, not, Mormon, uh, so, no. you know. <laughs> okay. And you're here tonight for the uh, Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund? Yep, I'm here for the Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund and, uh, you know, going to hopefully raise some good money for a great cause and, uh, you know, at the same time, continue my second career and, and make some new fans tonight. And how is that second career going? It's going great. Everything's going really well. Uh, just working hard, you know. It's, it's a long, hard road, and it's uh, you know, not not paying much at all. It's just getting us down the road right now, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll make it there. It's all about paying your dues. I mean, yeah. whether it was football once upon a time, you had to pay your dues there, too. Yeah, yeah, that's life, you know. If you want to be successful in anything, you got to pay your dues. Which has been easier for you, the, the football life or, or the music world? Um, you know, it, they're two separate animals, um, but they, they've all come very natural to me. Uh, but, you know, football just, it, it was probably the most natural thing that ever came to me. I only played one year of high school football and uh, got a scholarship right after that. And, you know, it just was a whirlwind. It seemed to go by so fast. It happened so fast. Uh, and the music thing was a, more of a development uh, over time. So, uh, but, uh, you know, just another, another one of those, another one of those, one of those uh, you know, dreams to go after that takes a lot of hard work and determination to make up. Now in football, you always had the coaches over you telling you what to do. In the music world? I'm my own boss. So right now, at least. so that's good and uh, bad, right? It, it, it's good and bad, yes. A lot, a lot of uh, you know stress at times, but uh, good in that you know what's getting done, you know. So um, you know, I uh, I try to keep a level head and, and just understand that there's uh, a path to take and there's going to be some bumps in the road. Yeah. Just keep on moving. Now Monday night football. Do you watch that on a regular basis? You watch? Do you, do you oh yeah, man! I'm a huge football fan. Okay. You know, I always so, have been since I was a kid. That ain't, that's not gonna stop. Okay. Do you watch it and say, you know, I got another season or two left in uh, me? I think everybody does. You know, that played it, uh, and especially played it at a high level, and is a consistent guy that was there all the time in the game. You, there's nothing that compares to uh, you know, game day, and especially when you're playing Monday night. You know, it's. Uh, those night games, Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday nights are just, the energy is electric and uh, it just goes right through you, man. And uh, there's it, nothing that compares. Now, once upon a time, you and Mike Martz were uh, together in St. Louis with the Rams. Yeah. What, what was it like back then being with him? Make it's, your head spin? Hey, it started out great, you know. The first season was wonderful and, uh, you know, we, uh, Went to the playoffs. Steve you had a first round bye, and we were looking like we we're gonna make a new, another run at the Super Bowl. And uh, uh, you know that was my first season with him, so I know he couldn't have been happier. Uh, you know, I, I made the uh, All Decade team for the Rams, and even that goes through their Super Bowl years. You know, um, out of just one year. And, but unfortunately, I had a very serious back injury that uh, sidelined me for that next season. Um, and uh, coaches don't like it when you're sitting on the bench and they're losing games and they know you could be helping them. And, and uh, just, I, I assume you don't like it any more than they like I, it. You know, I wasn't used to that. I played say, the first six years of my career with only missing one game because Coach Dicka told me to sit that one out because we were playing the Rams at the time. And, 
Rams at the time sucked, and even us, you know, Aints were the ones uh, putting beating on them. So um, it was just one of those things. You know, it was it was a perfect storm that erupted, and then later found out there was uh, office turmoil going on, and you know, just a lot of mess that didn't need to be going on. And, weighed his opinions about my injury, and I didn't like him too much. And, and uh, we had some words, and they ain't cut. So, uh, so, so do we get the uh, the title of the CD, Anger Management? Is that attributable to Martz, or is that something else? Uh, just all, all in general, but I was sent to Anger Management from the uh, you know helmet throwing incident, right. and uh, that's where it came from, really. You know, I was sent to Anger Management, and uh, I thought, if I was going to write a book, I'd title it Anger Management. Um, and uh, I didn't want to write a book when it came down to it. I wanted to write a record, let people know my stories, um, you know, by hearing it from me. You know, I, I don't read books. <laughs> I wouldn't even read my own book. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was an art major in college. And, uh, okay. Uh, what, what form? It's, uh, general arts, uh, everything. You know, I just... I, I didn't go to college to get a degree. I went to college to go to the NFL. And so... Uh, that worked out. I was an artist, and I'd taken art all through high school. And, you know, I had my backup plan. If school didn't work out, I didn't get my degree either way. And, um, you know, football was my goal. So I went after it like anybody would to be a doctor, a lawyer, or anyone, you know. I sacrificed, dedicated myself, and made sure I did it. Now... This, this is sort of your pre-game time now. I assume it differs from football pre-game time. Yeah, oh yeah. Are there, are there, are there similarities? Uh, there's similarities, you get the butterflies, you know, you still get the same butterflies in your stomach. Um, but that's a good sign, right? That, yeah, you know, it's a competitor. You want to go out there and do well, uh, you know. It, it's still a competition. You want to win over the crowd. And, uh, you want to go out there and have a good, game, if you will, you know, good set, and uh, uh, so you got to be in the right frame of mind, and each has its own frame of mind. You know? Well, the, the nice thing about the music career is not too many people are going to be booing you. You know, the, the, the crowd at a football game, you get a holding penalty, something like that, they'll get on your uh, tail. Yeah. At a concert, they're a little more... A little nobody more knows when we screw up, right. but us, you know? Unless it goes really wrong, right. nobody knows uh, when they screw up with us. So that's a, that's a good thing, you know? And there's a big difference there. But uh, uh, at the same time, when you know you screw up, I mean, yeah, I, I never cared in the NFL, um, you know? I mean, I cared, you know, that it was on TV or whatever, but I never let it go past that, you know? I, I never really thought people really cared and dwelled on it, you know? I just, that, it was a game, things happen, right. so you move on, but, uh, you know, it's still the same personally when you screw up in the music right. business as the same as in the NFL, you're hard on yourself. Now, I assume that you and Mike Ditka have a decent relationship in that he drafted you? Yeah, Mike, Mike drafted me in 98, and uh, he and I, uh, you know, I was very grateful for that. No wedding, no wedding dresses involved with you, though. Yeah, no. That no, was no that's Ricky dresses. Williams. No wedding dresses uh, for me. That was only Ricky. Okay. Uh, he got no wedding dress. But uh, uh, you know, I, I I think he appreciated me because I I didn't uh, I didn't question. You know, I went out there and I just did what I was told, and I respected that he uh, you know had been there and done that. You know, I, I have a great deal of respect for him as a player and a coach and a mentor, you know, just like I did in college for my my old coach that coached me on the offensive line. Uh, Ed White played 17 years in the NFL. He, you know, was, I knew to listen to that guy because he would help lead me down the right path. And, you know, whether we won games or not, you know, as a person in a, a developing you know, young man that I, in the NFL especially, uh, I, uh, I knew that that was a guy that could help teach me a few things. And, and uh, he did, you know. We, uh, we had a, a lot of fun, uh, and, uh, and and then we didn't, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we, he, he ended up getting fired, and uh, it wasn't a good scene. Yeah. Now, playing for New Orleans, what's it like to go from playing for the Aints 
to now seeing them as Super Bowl champions. Well, I, 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 you know, I take some gratitude in that, in that, uh, you know, I'd like to think that we helped pave that way. We won the first uh, playoff game in team history after uh, Hazlitt came on board, and uh, uh, I think that kind of maybe set the tone for more free agents to think about coming to New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans could be a contender, and coaches to come to New Orleans, you know, to get a guy like Sean Payton, your head coach. Uh, I mean, I understand it was a very uh, different time when the storm hit and all that, but still a very quality coach in Sean Payton, who was uh, desirable around the league to be a head coach. Uh, and then you know, guys like Drew Brees and others to sign there was, uh, I think, credited to the success we had and the players that were able to you know, get signed on there. Unfortunately, you know, things went screwed with me and and ended up getting traded. But uh, overall, I take a great deal of pride in that that team because more so the city. Um, the city of New Orleans is a very special place to me and I think anybody that's ever played there. Now the Bears have had their troubles with offensive line. If, if Marts gives you a call and says, hey, we, we need some help, you'll, you'll laugh just <laughs> like that, not, right? Not likely. <laughs> yeah, I laugh because that won't happen. Okay. Um, and I'm over it. Moved on, and uh, to put my body through that right now, I don't know if I'd make it out. You yeah, know? they might, they might, that might be a. Uh, they'll have to put me uh, under uh, uh, the stadium over here in, in Soldier Field with Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> I thought he was in the Meadowlands. That's what everybody thinks. <laughs> Okay, well, I, <laughs> far be it from me to doubt you. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for your time. It's Good be luck. Chicago. Come on. Well, it's, you know, uh, where else? Uh, everybody thinks it's New York, but, you know, Chicago is the other spot. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll start looking. Yeah. Right, right after the Bears win the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, but. no doubt. Hopefully that's uh, not going to happen. No. Because <laughs> yeah. that would mean the Saints wouldn't win. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, oh. We, we'll see. Yeah. It's a long season, as you're it well is, man. They got a great chance. You know, Cutler's a great quarterback, and he's been uh, missing a great coach, you know. Yeah. And uh, whether I liked, uh, you know, got along with Mike Martz or not, um, he, you know, personally, he's a hell of a coach as far as developing quarterbacks and receivers and making them understand offenses, uh, you know, to where they need to be uh, in the NFL, you know. I mean, he's. I can't take that away from him. He's got the credentials to show it. You know, he's got rings and trophies. Uh, 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 and those are unarguable. All righty, excellent. Thank you. All Continued right. success. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.